come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. I will live, I will do to glorify the name of my Father. I will walk according to the will of God. In the name of Jesus, whatever opposition that comes my way, let the power of the mighty God crush them in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be your I am praying for somebody. I am praying for someone who has faith to believe. I am praying for you. The God that opened way in the Red Sea. The hand that opened way in the Red Sea. The God that made the way in the wilderness. The God that made way for the children of Israel. I pray that that same God will make a way for you this year, for your family, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to pray for somebody before I hand over to Pastor Matthew. Somebody wants us to pray that all his children will be born again. I them to the knowledge of Christ in the name of Jesus. Mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Listen to me as I read this promise of God to your hearing. Just be saying amen because these are the words of the Lord. In the book of Numbers, chapter 6. <laughs> Numbers chapter six. Numbers, I think I missed the text there. I think it should Numbers be verse 24. Numbers chapter 12, I guess. Numbers. Chapter number chapter six verse twenty four. Verse twenty four. Number chapter twenty four. The Lord bless thee. Say amen. 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 D, say amen. 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 The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. Say amen. 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 And be gracious unto thee. Amen. 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 The Lord lift his countenance upon thee. Amen. amen. And be peace. Amen. amen. We thank you for this session. We bless your name for what you have done. As we hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Amen. we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, we are always be like 27, 30. But today, by the grace of the Lord, we are no more than 15. Uh, some people drop along the way, 
then it's like I was just uh, asking God, okay, but you know I'm not a God of multitude. And then he took me back to the time of Gideon. And I want to, once again, you know, I've always been congratulating many people. And then I wish people are sharing their testimony. Uh, people like uh, Pastor Peter, uh, Pastor Shegon, and then uh, all other people I know that we are very close online. Uh, before then, I would have loved us to pray for uh, one of our brother that lost his mother. Please, anyone that have not done so, please let us send the prayer uh, condolence message. Not the mother that lost her daughter this time around. This brother lost a daughter, a, a mother. So, uh, Mommy Peter, you will, if you can help me to analyze more on the prayer request, uh, we give you the permission to do it. The name of the brother, and then the how people can do it. She has done it. I will need to call him. So, and I, I will do that. So, please let all the leaders and the everybody online send the message to him. Then, uh, Pastor Mike, please, ready today, uh, if we need to pray that God should anoint your tongue, that how many of us now, that 15 of us, we are online today, something spectacular that never happened, will happen unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, when you see the story of Gideon, uh, it was like I'm seeing him. And the tear is coming in my eyes. Uh, this is somebody, they own the land. And then the enemy will come on their own land. Something they plant, the blessing of the Lord, he will go and reap it and he will be, he be hiding it. Imagine in your own house, you went out, you buy food, you put, you want to, you're supposed to be eating freely because you are work for it but because you are afraid of enemy that doesn't know how you work hard on that food and you are afraid of it you started adding that food and then Gideon was so surprised that almighty God if truly you are God in my own land how can I be keeping my food before eating then it's like there's something Ah, that need to let me doubt if you are my God. But God proved himself to Gideon. And then Gideon have to go and fight with the media. Then after a lot of soldiers have been selected, then a lot were dropped, then remain 300. So that's why I'm not so worried that we are not many online today. But one thing I want you to do, many of us have always been telling us, what is that particular plan? If you don't plan, plant, you cannot reap. If there's no sweat, there's no ah, uh, there's no profit. If there's no investment, there's no profit. What are those things that you are planning in your mind to enlarge your capital, to enlarge your family? to make an impact in your family to the extent that things is going to change from the way your generation have been doing it. Uh, I want this, please let me, let, me, let me be proud in the law a little bit. I was coming, I was driving today and I remember somebody, uh, somebody uh, I was talking to me and I, 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 want, I, I was telling myself, I thank God I able to break the yoke from my family. Many of us who are only joining us on life told us a lot of story. And I look at myself today, I say, God, I thank you. And my children have taken part in my own story. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, story is being changed in your life, in the life of your life, in the life of your children today in Jesus' name. But many Amen. of us that have been touching it, like Pastor Peter, Pastor Shergon, uh, all, all our pastors, I've not had many of us, uh, our testimony, but that things have been happening. Congratulations. For all that are online today, Pastor Mike, it's, all, it's offered to you. You will pray for us. Some people, they may just want to start a shoe shop. Uh, either, like, I want to be selling shoes. 
some people they want to there's nothing possible they want to be sending cars they know about to do it maybe part of maybe part of the car or part of the car or something like that some people they are they are say job particular they know that they qualify for it and they know that they can be chosen but one thing or the other is delaying them some people it is a ministry that God, I want you to add this thing to my ministry. And I know if you add the thing will change in my life, it will change in my ministry. Some people, it's a business. That God, why can't you just let me establish this thing? If you, I know knowledge, I have knowledge about it, it's not by mouth say. And I know you are giving me talent about it. And I know if you can, I can, you can support me, the change thing will change in my life. And I want you to call upon the name of the Lord, maybe for one minute or two minutes. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, this new year, this is a particular thing that I know that can change the story of my life by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. As you as you help Gideon to establish Israel and take them out of out of media line. Almighty Father, establish me, establish my family, establish my wife, establish my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. What is that particular thing in your family? What is that particular thing in your own life? What is that particular thing? In the life of your wife, what is that particular thing? In the life of your children, what is that particular thing? You are looking at and you are saying, God, I know if you can do that, if you can pass judgment on poverty in my life, if you can pass judgment on this media life in my life, if you can pass judgment on episode in my life, if you can pass judgment on the Canaanite in my life, if you can pass judgment on the Amalekite in my life. came online about a, a week or two weeks ago. He said something on that day. He said, God, all things that let me that let me that it, that let that it let me look like as if I'm not worshiping God. I can if you can remember vividly on that day, I was shocked. I fear God because it was like he was totally depressed that why should we be praying for two people and the answer we are mentioning their name physically during that period why the prayer of the first person was answered and it was like i remember before then either me or somebody raised a prayer request and it was like maybe if something is in some, your life your prayer may not be answered and i remember he came the second the, the, the upper way thank god what is that thing in my life that let me look at it Prayer will not be answered. Okay, right. Once after two weeks, he came and then he shared the testimony. If you see how God answered that prayer, I was sharing it to one of my friends. You won't believe I was sharing it to one of my friends who is in Lagos, is a member of the redeemed. And he was saying, 
I think I wanted to do something. I say for somebody to go to private university, you should know there's something behind it. What I mean, something behind it, there's a thickness of uh, of blessing. There. Since prayer, we have been praying for what, more than a year. See when God answered that prayer, that God is not sleeping. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, He's going to answer all our prayer today in Jesus' name. Our time, hey, man. Pastor, Pastor Mike, I want you to be specific, to be specific to the Lord. Think that we can be all of us who are online now. I think maybe we are assisting because I have multiple uh, uh machine that join, so maybe we are not more up to that. So maybe maybe we are fourteen or thirteen. All of us we are online now. Think that we change story of our life. I want to that we change story of our the generation. That we start from us. This morning, as God did it for Gideon, by the power in the blood of Jesus, God to do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. I have Amen. You may not see me. I sit down beside my chair here. All of you do whatever you can do that you will know that you are collecting to God, not Pastor Mike. And you are hearing him talking to you. If after the prayer, if you have not received your answer, that I will do it for you. After the prayer, still continue. Lean down there. That today, today, I still can't fight with the angel. God, I'm fighting with you. And I'm, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, if you can have mercy upon Jacob, you will have mercy upon my family. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Offer to you, Pastor Amen. Mike. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, God is going to embarrass you with testimonies. Amen. I say to you again, this year, God will embarrass you with testimonies. Amen. Amen. I say to somebody who has faith to believe, this year, God will embarrass you with testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. The water, it has to be got into the coconuts. It's unknown to man. No water entered coconuts. It's unknown to man. That is the handy work of God. Oh, yeah. I have yes. prayed for somebody as I pray for myself. I have prayed, oh God, the Lord, this year, what no man can do. Blessing, oh God, Father, that will transcend, oh God, to many generations to come. Oh God, I am praying, oh God, the Bible says you are the God of all flesh. We saw you did the impossible in the Bible. You brought money out of the mouth of the fish. That's the handy work of God. You made the devil to swim in water. That's the handy work of God. Father, yes. you made the woman to conceive even without coming of a man or a woman coming together. That's the handy work of God. Father, yes. I am praying and I'm asking over. Oh I pray for that brother. I pray for that sister. Father, that this year, this month, oh God, what will yes. make the world to know that they are the the living God? What will yes. make the world to raise their hand in hallelujah to the Lord? What will make the them to sing a new song? What will make them to dance a new dance? What will make them to do this forever? Testimony will be for that that will make the world to know that they are serving the living God. I am praying for that brother. I am praying for that sister. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, I am praying. Father, I am asking. The Lord, you will elevate that brother, that sister online. You will do it for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, in blessing, I will bless you. Amen. Amen. That was the words of Jabez. Jabez speaking to the Lord. He said, Lord, that I would bless me. And the Lord blessed him. Oh God, I pray. Oh, that I would just bless this brother. Oh, that I would just bless this sister. Sister, I read it to you in the book of the numbers that the Lord your God bless you for today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, we return all the glory to you. It is done in 
Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please do not mm. doubt yourself. If there's any business, if there's anything you are thinking in your mind, just thinking of how you are going to establish it. No matter how small, start it and you will see that God is going to take you to in the name of Jesus Christ. What yeah. God has done is going to be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not that despite the little beginning, Almighty God is going to bless the work of your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share this place together. We meet tomorrow in Garden of the Eagle. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy for us all the days of our lives to know that we are in the house of God forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. If there is any prayer request, please present it on Garden of the Eagle tomorrow. It is whereby all the pastors are there. And by the power and the all the stumbling block, God is going to remove in Jesus' name. So say Amen. it in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. this morning the revelation about Christ let's lift up our hands and begin to magnify his holy name tell him Lord I want to know more of you I want to know more of your goodness I want to know more of you Lord recording in progress Thank you.
you're coming here today is because of it. Oh
pearly gates, and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Who is this King of glory? Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, and he is here with us. He is here in our midst. He is here to see us worshiping. before the Lord. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept the more silence. And he saith, I am verily a man which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, as ye all are this day. And I persecuted this way unto the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest doth bear me witness and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters unto the brethren and went to Damascus to bring them which were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, Suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me, and I fell unto the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, what shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise, and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me, and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him. And he said, The God of our fathers 
hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. And now, why tarriest thou? Arise, and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. And it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance. And I saw him saying unto me, Make haste, and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believed on thee. And when the blood of thy martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death, and kept the raiment of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word, and then lifted up their voices and said, Away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. And as they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and bade that he should be examined by scourging, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? When the centurion heard that, he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou a Roman? He said, Yea. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained I this freedom. And Paul said, But I was free born. Then straightway they departed from him which should have examined him, and the chief captain also was afraid after he knew that he was a Roman and because he had bound him. On the morrow, because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Jews, he loosed him from his bands, and commanded the chief priests and all their council to appear, and brought Paul down and set him before them. Father Lord, we pray that you will give us the grace to be doers of your word.